The devastation caused by flash floods from Nanka, Isofia and Ibuku into Ecolobia is no longer a matter to be quiet about now that the rains have come and tragedy may hit the locality if nothing is done about it. Flooding in Ecolobia is a perennial problem, but this year it takes a different dimension, especially in Amudo village. Reinforcements in virtually every building and catchment pit points to a desperate situation. When this rain starts, my money rises up. All my children, everybody stand up, look, crying. We nearly, we, sometimes we carry my children, go, go another place to sleep. Globally, everybody is worried about the pandemic, but here we are primarily concerned for us to because if the I mean if you don't have a place to stay, you, you are as well as uh, being cut off by the pandemic. We have primary pandemic here. This is the flood menace that is causing a problem here. Moving further into the village, the level of destruction tells its own story. Several residents are sun drying their property after the rains found their way into their homes. Others have to deal with collapsed perimeter fences. Bag of rice. And the gare in Domi, all of them, they are spoiled. You can see the length of the flood, these compounds. All the whole properties in this particular building now is rendered useless. Everything is useless. Even with the drainage channel constructed as a palliative, the problem is not abating. I am pleading if the state governments and federal governments can come to our aid. It will help reduction of this overflowing, save lives and property of this poor village people. The problem is that our people always build on drain channels or where, you know, changing the natural flow of the water. And because of all these problems, the water starts going to where it's not supposed to go, entering people's houses. In the interim, the Ecolobia residents continue to build their own reinforcement with the hope that this will lessen the force with which the flood waters rush into their homes.